We were hired by the Zambian government essentially to increase their trade flow between the United States and Zambia. So we were hired to provide tools and advice to the government on how to do so. The ultimate goal is to increase exports, improving their growth, improving uh, basically their well-being and the well-being of the people that work in those industries. We would have been able to better orient our project and timeline without the help of our economics professors who were definitely experts in the field of international development. So they gave us better direction and where to look for data and uh, the areas that we should look into. We were facing high inflation, lack of government ability to really enact change within their own country, and also a lack of demand and a, a need to diversify along channels that didn't exist currently. That's why we separate our trips into two segments. One was really understand the challenges that government faced, and the second trip focused on meeting kind of with all the private sectors ranging from rural areas, farmers, to the largest emerald mine in the world to bridge the gap between government and private sector. Without bridging the two sectors, public and private, together, there was not going to be any success out of uh, trying to promote Goa. So uh, the aha moment was like, well, let's just give them basic communication mechanism, build up a governance process so that they actually can bridge the needs and wants. By actually being able to educate the people of Zambia to develop their supply chain, develop export capabilities and products that met the quality standards of the U.S. That was really the, the turning point. Congresswoman uh, Karen Bach, she uh, officially asked for permission to lift the confidentiality agreement of the report. And we, we definitely feel very proud because we didn't think that um, it would be implemented so soon. Because we had worked and kept plugging away at it, we actually crafted something that was feasible for them to implement. And we're hoping that they're successful in their endeavors over the next few years.